First, let me thank the League of Women Voters. My name is Karen Weaver, and I'm a candidate for the mayor of the city of Flint. The qualifications that I possess are my whole professional career has been service to children and families in our community. I've been in private practice. I worked at Mott Children's Health Center for almost 20 years. I was department head. I was director of behavioral services the last 10 years and part of the management team. At that point, we had a net worth of $200 million. And we had to be disciplined. We had to be fiscally responsible. I had to know how to prioritize, delegate, collaborate, and partner with other agencies and organizations to make things happen. The same can be said for my time at Ennis Center for Children, where I was the chief of operations. I had to know about budgets, grants, and handling staffing issues. At the same time, my husband and I started our second business in the city of Flint. We already had Weaver Family Dentistry, but we opened Shea Lavelle Boutique three years ago. My community service has included sitting on boards. I'm currently on the Hurley Board of Managers, Priority Children, and the Community Foundation. I was previously on the Flint Institute of Arts Board, and I was Freedom Fund Chair for the Flint Branch NAACP. To sit in the mayor's seat, I believe you need certain qualifications, certain characteristics, such as education, leadership skills, high ethics and norms, principles, experience, passion, and love for the city and the people. And all of those qualities I named, I possess. I think the top issues that are facing our community are lack of leadership. Our city needs a mayor who will engage with all sectors of the community. Job creation with a focus on business retention and attraction and su support for small business owners. Neighborhood revitalization, not just tearing houses down, but building them back throughout the entire city. I'd be a champion for clean and affordable water. And I partner with the community schools, the colleges, and the universities. How would I manage the relationship uh, between the Transition Advisory Board and the city administrator? Well, I think our city is in a unique, temporary political arrangement. I'd handle the relationship by being professional, transparent, and respectful. I believe being a working, collaborative partner is first and foremost in moving the city forward. In addition, the city council are critical players in moving the city forward, and I look for opportunities and ways to work with them as well. The specific ordinances or ideas that I would support to address the city's crime, well, I'd ensure that the ordinances that are in place are enforced. I'd implement all parts of community policing have a strong detective bureau for investigating, be a strong advocate for cameras and lights within the community and secure grants for, for funding for new police equipment like body cameras and car microphones. I work with Consumers Energy to ensure that trees are trimmed for lighting throughout the neighborhoods. I create police commission to interface between the community and the police to work for mutual cooperation and crime solving. A yearly review of police rules of procedure to increase the use of force or to include the use of force would be required. Networking with all available public, private resources to address issues including mental health, substance abuse, and education. Those are just some of the things a Weaver administration would do to help address the city's crime rate. To learn more about me, I'd like you to go to my website, www.caringaboutflint.com. Together, we can make Flint thrive again. I can't do it by myself. I need your help. I need your support. I'm optimistic about Flint. I believe in Flint. I have hope and faith that together, we can do it. And with your vote on August 4th, we can bring about the change the city needs. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless the people of the city of Flint.